first up on the Beach Sessions. She says her job is not to be a singer. Her job is to make you feel things. 2003 Youth Talent Search winner at the Calgary Stampede, you'll meet Jen Beaupre. Jen Beaupre. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Not a lot of. Thanks yeah, for having me. Me too. Can I read this? Please. Uh, your style has been described as, you've heard this, wait for this. Think Bette Midler meets Adele with a splash of Alanis Morissette. That is well written. Who came up with that? <laughs> so when I read that, because of course you wrote that, mm -hmm. when I read that, I have all of these different styles and genres in my head. You have the same? Yeah, unfortunately, I do. And I think the reason that those artists are so different is because even though I'm older than I want to be at this stage, I'm still definitely discovering where I live as an artist. I know lots of artists I love. I know lots of music I love to play. But I think that my true artistry is I'm just cracking it open. Yeah. Which is the one that's... The, the forerunner, the which one that's... Which artist or which genre? Yeah, both, I guess. I think I'm really starting to relate to Adele and not necessarily mm. that I want to be like Adele, but that she's using real instruments. Because a lot of music these days is beats and bass and computers and programming. And that's wonderful. And that's in my car right now. I'm listening to that as I drive around. But as a musician, I've tried to write like that. I've desired to be that artist. But at the end of the day... I want real instruments and I mm -hmm. want to use my voice in big ways. And a lot of pop music now isn't. It's a little more talky, it's a little more subdued. And I really enjoy really singing. And that's why I relate to Adele because she's managed to make pop music but really sing. So there you go. So if you're thinking about an Adele kind of angle, she has created something. Why can't Jen Beaupre do the same thing? Well, I, she clearly can. You know, I mean, we, we all try to we all try to pigeonhole ourselves into these certain little. So it's it's all so easy, cookie cutter. It's on the shelf, and everybody knows that. Bam! This is where I can find you. But why not break out of that? That's that's kind of what you, I've noticed over the years. I'm hoping. Done. I'm hoping that that is a possibility. I hope that that's a reasonable, reasonable thing to take on. I yeah. don't know if that's fair because audience really does want. They ne almost need you to fit somewhere so that they can find you, right? Mm -hmm. But things that are out there like Spotify and audio and stuff like that now, at least they can, you know, if they like Adele or if they like Emily Sonday, if they like Eva Cassidy, they can sort of cross-reference. Yes, they can cross-reference. Yeah. Did I just say cross-reference? That's okay. Okay, cool. You say whatever you want. Yeah. Every time we talk, it's always a wonderful moment. Every time you perform, people say the same. You have this energy that comes from somewhere. I've met your parents. I've met, you, I've met your mama. Your mm -hmm. mama's great. The mama. Does it come from mama? Um, to where, be honest, where does this know? come from? Is it just? Um, I don't know. There's not a lot of music. Because you have life in you. You have so much life, so much passion in you. Jen. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because my parents loved me so hard and told me at a very young age that I was beautiful and wonderful. And and uh, I think that when you're told you're good enough, it's easy to be good enough in your own mind and and keep striving. Yeah. If every kid could be told that. Yeah. Jen Beaupre. Thanks, girl. Thank you. A one, two, three, four. I love the way your face lights up when you say my name. Cause I know I feel the same And I shine every time I remember that you're mine My cheeks still turn bright red when I see your tan lines Cause this is a, the way I know it's right And this is the, the way I can You're like sand on my toes and honey on my toe. I'm better in the rain, no one tomorrow. The words from my lips, the 
Still to come on The Beach Sessions. They represent three generations of women who with their combined harmony are unmatched. You'll meet the Traveling Mabels. The Traveling Mabels. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Eva, Lana, Suzanne, Susie. Sure. Is that what sure, mom calls sure. you, Susie? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Eva, it was back in 19 some odd that the Levesque family yes. made its debut. Yes. To... It's evolved to where you are now. Yes. The Traveling Mabel is your idea for the name? Uh, no, no, it wasn't my idea. It was Keith's idea. Uh, and the Mabels. Uh, Lana's husband. Right. We, we were, named, were named after a blue tick hound dog from Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> I know that you sounds really you, silly, you know, but... <laughs> you, you could. Do you do you ever get asked the question? I, what part of the South are you from? Yeah. Do you ever get that line yeah. out there? People sort of look at you and say, "Hey, where are you from?" Yeah, when they say, what, where, "Where's your accent?" Where, where, where's that from? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't hear an accent from you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. I think yeah. it's a Canadian thing. <laughs> so the Mabels, the traveling Mabels. Mm has evolved into more, well, it's, it's still a family group. Yeah. But it has really changed from the Levesque family. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Be because we aren't actual, like, Mom and, and Eva are family. Yeah. And then Keith and I are married. We're not related to, to Eva and Sue. Right. Right. So, I mean, there's, that's the biggest change of that. But we are like family. We're soul family. So it's cool. Oh, it's not sweet. <laughs> Suzanne, I don't know if I'd really want to hang out with my family for that long. After a while, it just makes me kind of crazy. <laughs> Are you dealing with these two okay? <laughs> Why is mom laughing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I get a twitch every now and then. No, we've learned to work together. Yeah. I mean, after it's been seven years, I guess, and you just figure out your little idiosyncrasies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and you yeah. figure it out and work it out. And, Have your own and space. we all love each other, so. We get yeah. along really well, actually. We really do. I mean... We hit the road. We have fun together. Yeah. You know, even on our time off, we still spend it together. So it's uh, it's been neat. It's been fun. I mean, there are times when you need your space, right? 
who try to honor that. Yeah. Especially these two. <laughs> you know, yeah. in the sense it's of like, having to stay in the same room. Do I have my own room? room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah. I love it. The, um, when, I, when I think of the three of you out there doing your thing, you've, you've labeled yourselves, you've branded yourselves very, very well. And one of the things about the Traveling Mabels that you'll discover is that their music is easy to the ear. There's something about what you three have that's so unique, and that's why I love you three so much. Mom, where did that come from? I think uh, it was, first of all, uh, the blend of voices, which is, it's always easy to blend with family, but when Lana and, and I and Sue were at Royalty Records uh, open mic that, that time at the CCMAs in Winnipeg, and we got up and sang, the blend was there, and, and we just knew it. It's like something that's, I don't even know if it's taught. It just happens. Yes. And uh, and one thing I've learned too is it's stage presence as well. You know, we're very relaxed because we've all done bars and we've all done the old honky tonks. You know, and and for years, so we're very relaxed on stage, all of us. And I think that really comes through to the audience. The audience likes to be talked to, and they like to feel comfortable. And that's what we we try to provide with our shows. And uh, it's really been working out good. Yeah. Well, they all love coffee. They all love singing. <laughs> yeah. What's the song you're going to sing for us? Um, we're doing a song that Lana wrote. Actually, it's called Time Drags On. And I don't know if you want to explain where yeah, it came I, from I, or whatever. Um, Keith and I actually wrote it yeah. together. And it was just one of those songs where for, for about four days, I sort of went into almost like a funk. Um, just noticing all the people around me driving in Calgary. and yeah. Just seeing a lot of people that kind of look tired and maybe a little bit worn out and kind of were a little bit dazed, you know, and just thinking, you know, where are they at in their lives, you know, mm. doing that whole process. So I really actually went into a big four day sort of stint on that. And then I watched a Johnny Cash video one night on the last night of it. And then it just actually all came together. And it was just because I'm such a huge fan of Johnny Cash mm. and the simplistic way that he writes, but his, his writing has so much meaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's sort of where that song came from. It was sort of my Johnny Cash Aww. inspired song. Yeah. Susie, she's so deep. I know. I know. <laughs> but that's why you love her. Yeah. They are the traveling Mabels. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.
Still to come on The Beach Sessions. She's a singer first, a nerd second, all the while trying to live the dream. You'll meet Amy Hess. Amy Hef, you're a traveler. I'm a traveler. <laughs> Saskatchewan born. Yep. Off to Fort Mac. Spent some time in Calgary, hanging out in LA. Yep. Where else are you gonna go? Anywhere that books me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, sh you're shy. Yes. Painfully shy. When I was a kid, I actually didn't speak to anyone until I was about 12 years old. And then- Now I, you're 13. And I'm 14 actually, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Playing in the bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then- um, I, Why painfully shy? Because I'm the youngest of five kids, and I didn't need to speak, really, so um, yeah. I just, my sister spoke for me. Um, I had weird accents. I would pick up, everywhere we moved, I'd pick up a new accent. Yeah. So I had weird, I'd, I spoke funny, and so I just didn't like to open my mouth too much. And then I started playing music, first drums, and then guitar and, and vocals, and I got this confidence that I, I didn't know I had, and then my voice came, and... I just, and there were yeah, was. and this little character was inside. So, when you're on stage, are you a character? Um, are we, you Amy Hef, or are you are you someone else? I'm Amy Hef. Okay. Yeah, yeah but it, it's, she's pretty diverse. <laughs> yeah. What is it about Amy that is so diverse? Well, that's the thing. I can be painfully shy. I can be quiet. I like to be myself, but I also love high energy. Um, I love to party and get have fun, get my hands dirty, and um, and then also there's a other side where. You know, I'm in school right now, doing things, and um, yeah. have so the quiet side. You know, so yeah, it's 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 one of those things. I, I didn't. My it's funny seeing people when I was a kid that see me now, and they're like, "We didn't think you'd ever speak." Mm -hmm. <laughs> now mm -hmm. you're on stage screaming. So because when people yeah. see you, when the people hear you, and they 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 find you on stage, you're in their face. I better be. Or you are. Be ignored. <laughs> That's part of the business. Yeah. It is. And it's funny because I do a lot of stuff by myself. So I run like loops and tracks by myself. And then I have my band. They're on, most of the guys I play with are in LA. So when I'm out here, it's more expensive for me to have them. Yeah. So, so it's a little different. So I have to kind of have two different shows, which is keeps it fun, I guess. But I, I really do enjoy it with the band and kind of mm -hmm. thing. So. Your fans love you. I mean, they don't like you. They're impassionate about you. Yeah, well, I feel like we're all friends, you know. You so connect like, with them. Yeah. You do it so well from someone who came from a, from a, from a beginning that you didn't really have to connect with anyone. No, yeah, just my sister. <laughs> What's your sister's name? Cheryl. She like you? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I got, I got, I think I, I learned a lot from her. From she was a very outgoing, crazy kid, and that's why I didn't have to speak. Cause my mom, my mom had her, and then she was like, oh, "I think we need an audience," so they had me. <laughs> and well, now it turned. Well, you know what? I'm sure your family's proud of you. Yeah, I, I'm so blessed with my family. I've got the greatest parents. They have my back. Oh. Hundred percent. So. Oh. Yeah. I'm very lucky. You're singing a song for us. The more, yeah. about, more about the song. What's the song? So the song will be called "This Thing Between Us." Oh. It's for us. Oh, I like that thing. Are oh, you so sweet? <laughs> yeah, it's my hair, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Amy Hef. That's me. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Which is available on iTunes. I 
believe I know you Like no one can And I believe you see me No matter where I stand We got a thing between us It was in plan between us we might not understand so I say let's keep this thing between us let's never let it die let's keep this thing between us we can leave it undefined I don't know where this is going and I don't really care as long as in the end I'm there with you Everyone's got to notice We're always face to face Our attempts sad and different Are getting hard to fake So I say Let's keep this thing between us Let's never let it die Let's keep this thing between us We can leave it undefined between us what is this thing that can make me so alive let's keep this thing between us let's never let it die let's keep this thing between us we can leave it undefined i don't know where this is going and i don't really care as long as in the end i'm there with you you.